Hi, so um, 2016's really got off on quite a sort of fountain pen orientated start for me. Um, I've picked up a few new things, a couple of new things over Christmas, one being the Twisby Eco, um, which is the focus of today's video, the other being the uh, Noodler's Conrad in Ebonite, and I've also picked up a couple of Delta pens through Marty Modeo as well. But having had this in my work bag um, as a daily sort of writer for the last month or so, I thought it was probably about time that I gave it a, a sort of fuller, more comprehensive review. Obviously my earlier review was just to show you what was in the box, what the pen looked like. If you want to find out about that, please look back at my videos. But really today is about my experiences with this pen and uh, you know the experience has been really good. So just to run over the pen uh, and my observations, I guess starting from the most important part, the nib. Um, the nib is really nice. It's smooth. Um, the ink flow is controlled, um, well behaved. Um, no big problems. I've had two fills of ink through this, one being the um, the Ackermans here, which I'm going to use as my sort of test ink. Now I believe the Ackermans is actually Diamine, but I don't know that for sure, but nonetheless that's going to be my test ink. So Royal Blue Ackermans, brilliant, no problem at all. Um, the next ink I used in it was the um, Noodler's Catfish Eternal Black, I think it is. Um, I previously found that to be quite hard to handle. Um, it's sort of thick, oily, wet, um, but in this pen with a very fine nib it was absolutely perfect. It was very well behaved and uh, really brought it back into my uh, rotation of inks. Um, so yeah, the, the, the nib is great. Um, it feels very smooth. I was really impressed, um, but occasionally when you pick up another pen, for example the, uh, the Lamy 2000 with its gold nib um, you realise that it is still a little bit of a nail, but um, nonetheless very nice. Um, talking about ink flow, I walk to work on these cold mornings and then obviously go into a warm office. It doesn't cause any real issues with uh, temperature differential, um, but when I got down to about a fifth of a tank, when there was loads of air in it, I did get occasional sort of burping where the where the feed was very wet and there was some ink in the cap, but as I say, generally very well behaved. Going on to the barrel of the pen and the body of the pen, um, this material is really nice. It's, um, well, as you can see, it's clear, um, but it's got a really nice quality, warm feel to it. It's really sort of quite nice as a tactile experience. It's like, it, it really does feel like something quality. Um, however, the black um, I don't know, hardware, cap and uh, filler knob, they don't have quite the same feel. There's something, something about them which doesn't feel quite as nice, not as solid, but overall it, it really does have a nice quality feel in the hand. Um, the end, the finial, um, is very basic. It looks like something you'd get on a, a disposable pen. But again, this is the Eco line, and it's about half the price of a, frankly, very similar pen from Twisby. So if that's a sacrifice, then that's absolutely fine. Nice little steel band there. Clips fine. I don't really clip pens um, at all, um, but it's perfectly adequate. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really nice. I'm very happy with it. The, the O-rings, um, which help pinch the cap on so it doesn't undo, and likewise it helps with posting, although this pen is huge if you do post it, I wouldn't post it personally. Um, they look a little bit um, industrial um, but perfectly functional, again another well thought out design. The section is very comfortable, no issues there, the threads disappear and actually I find that I hold it well beyond the threads so there's no discomfort or or even really awareness of the threads there. It does have this sort of, if you can see it, a sort of three-pointed design on the section. 
I really don't know what function that serves. Um, it's certainly, I guess it, it fits where your fingers go, but it seems superfluous. It doesn't really do much to me. Um, looking at the fill system, um, all perfectly serviceable, absolutely fine, very smooth, and no issues. It does have these weird sort of ink windows, which seems slightly superfluous when you've got a, uh, a clear barrel. I guess it sort of breaks up the flow, so it's a little bit of a feature there. Um, I don't know whether I like them. Again, they seem a little bit superfluous. What does happen is that the ink gets trapped in them, so you end up with sort of little uh, sort of stripes of ink when you're going in, in sort of when you're low, um, and they're sort of held in by capillary action up up the sort of the profile of those. I don't know. Don't know if I like that, but nonetheless, um, another feature really. Um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, it's an absolutely brilliant pen. Um, well worth the the money. I think they come in at around about sort of twenty five pounds, if if not a little bit less in the UK. Um, and really a pleasure to use. I guess as a sort of full review, it might be worthwhile putting it beside some of the other pens I use just for size comparison. So as I say, the the Twisby there um, is a companion to my Lamy two thousand. And it's taken the place for the time being of my Faber Castell um, emotion there. Let's just get those lined up. As you can see, or well you, you probably can make out, it's a similar length capped, um, probably a similar thickness. Um, the other companion that it's got is the Noodler's Conrad. And soon to be joining the collection with reviews coming up are a couple of deltas which are much thicker pens there you go obviously the Nami Safari not sure if I've done a review on that but it's a, a very basic pen but very affordable entry point um, there's not a huge range of differences in posting um, little Parker here very slender one of my first sort of painting pens up when I got back into the hobby and a little dollar cheap piston filler there. Um, probably more telling will be taking the caps off. Okay, so probably a more telling angle and obviously with the caps off um, it becomes more clear how large the, uh, the Eco is. I think it's pretty much the longest pen I've got there although it's not wildly different in, different in length to the others um, but it is a substantial pen it's probably as thick as the Lamy 2000 and the Lamy 2000 is really one of my absolute favourite pens um, the Deltas there which will have full reviews coming up on shortly um, you can clearly see a much more substantial pen sort of similar to the uh, Mont Blanc uh, 149 so hopefully that gives a bit of an idea about um, the size and really all that remains is to ink it up and put it back into rotation so we'll cut back to the uh, the wider shot and we'll get some ink in it okay so as I say all that remains is to really to get some ink in it and uh, put it back into rotation um, as I say real pleasure to use um, and certainly a pen which will feature daily, I think, for the time being. Um, in terms of ink, because it's clear, I'm going to go for something a little bit more flamboyant than the normal royal blue or black. Um, an ink which I haven't used for a little while um, is this turquoise Lamy. Um, now, my first impressions of this ink were, it was pretty standard, to be honest. Love the uh, design of the uh, the inkwell, but because you can get the last little bits of ink out of there, um, but it was all a little bit bland. I didn't think it particularly shaded. It was certainly very easy to use, um, but let's get a fill on that. Let's see if we can get it all the way full. So wind out the piston. First 
pill. See, not too bad there. Let's get that down. Get a bit of cloth ready. Just wind that back up again. Gently letting the, the air creep out the top there. Just try and get a really good fill. Let's go back. Okay, so that's a pretty good fill. You can see it's uh, got a few bubbles, but that'll settle out. And uh, yeah, these sort of more uh, jolly inks are really showed off nicely in in a clear barrel. So let's cap that up. Get it back in the pen case and uh, back into rotation. As I say, hope that's useful to you. Um, great pen all round, and uh, yeah, go out and try it out. Thank you. Bye bye.